uh, I went ahead and uh, you know moved all my vertices out you know just one at a time you guys uh, should be able to do this without watching me do it it's pretty simple you just select the vertice you know move it move it a little more here and there and just go all around your armor until it fits on the new body just by moving the vertices out you know remember you can use your selection tool to drag large areas of vertices and then move them out it's pretty simple and straightforward process uh, you just move it out and make it fit you know as best you can and then go ahead and get ready to export it now remember you never want anything frozen when you export otherwise it won't freeze the frozen object so always uh, right click on one of the windows and select unfreeze all so now I'm ready to export this and get it ready to test in game so I'm gonna go up here into the upper left hand corner select the 3ds symbol and select export All right. Uh, now what you want to do is in your drop down window go to UMP custom armors data meshes um, armor Daedric uh, we can select the Daedric torso f1 file but don't save it here just select it so we can get the name in the file name location then go to final and go ahead and save it in the final directory uh, we want to we don't want to weld anything and then go ahead and click export give it a few seconds as soon as it's done go ahead and uh, minimize 3ds max and over here we want to open up our you know our UMP customs uh, custom armors go to data meshes armor daedric final where we saved our uh, daedric armors and we wanted to open up our steam edge remember we have the shortcut so just double click that and drag it off to the left so you have your daedric uh, folder open for your skyrim directory and uh, now we have to do some fixing here on the Daedric Torso F0 and F1 because, you know, the textures like to screw up in 3ds Max uh, when we export. So go ahead and open up Daedric Torso F0, uh, drag that into the upper left-hand corner, and then double-click your Daedric Torso F1 and drag that into the lower left-hand corner. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to get these on better bodies, you know, bodies that are actually... Uh, not screwed up possibly by 3ds max texture wise and bone wise so we're gonna go ahead and port this over into uh, onto a the base UMP body and you know whatever body you're using you always want to take it from what you've created over to your original body file so open up your UMP custom armors go to data meshes base body mesh and double click female body underscore zero and we're gonna drag that into the upper right hand corner and then select your folder and double click the female body underscore one and drag that into your lower right hand corner and you can close the UMP customs armor folder now so click X alright now we gotta move these over from one to the other remember the parent node has to be the same name so we're gonna select uh, you know the parent node in one of the body folders and copy it right by clicking on the text and then copy in that name and then select in our other where it says scene root we're gonna paste it here we've done this before so you guys should be fairly familiar with making sure that the root node is the same name otherwise the uh, objects won't copy over alright as soon as they're both the same name you know you just click the NI node go to text and paste the new the new name in it as soon as they're the same name we're gonna uh, zoom in on the body here on both the top and the bottom just kind of zoom in on it All right, as soon as you have it zoomed in drop down your list here uh, and you can see that the NI tri shape 1 if you click on it that's the body and if you click on 8 8 is the undergarment let's go ahead and copy 8 first so select 8 hit control C on your keyboard select the window and always copy to the parent node never just click in here and copy you always want to copy to the parent node when you're copying an NI tri shape so hit control V and that pastes the armor onto the other body you can also zoom in over here so you can see it a little better and you know zoom in on the body in this lower hand uh, window alright let's go ahead select back over here in the upper left hand corner and we're gonna grab now you can see the mesh changes when you select so you know what you're selecting this is the you know the bra of the armor so we're gonna hit control C then we're gonna go over here 
uh, scroll wheel all the way up to the top where the NI node is and select the parent node and hit control V and now we have our bra shape and our undergarment on the corrected body we're going to do the same thing down here you know just drop down the list that's the body we can tell because it highlights and the that's the undergarment let's copy that first hit control C go over to the female body one select the parent node hit control V now it's pasted on there and then come over here select the bra which is 15 you know you can always see what's highlighted hit control C to copy it then go over here to the parent node scroll up to the parent node and hit control V you can also kind of mouse around it to make sure that everything that was supposed to get copied to the right folder got copied just kind of move around and make sure things are correct all right so now we're done with the originals so we can just go ahead and close those out and what we need to do is get our textures corrected on both of the top and the bottom because remember the textures on these also got screwed up when we export and sometimes even if they don't get screwed up they'll have like a glossy shine to them and we want to make sure that that's fixed so go ahead and minimize both uh, the you know just the top window you can just minimize the top one and double click on UMP custom armors we're gonna go to data meshes armor Daedric test one and double click the Daedric torso female zero so remember this one we already have a working texture I know you can't see it in there but it's a working version and go ahead and uh, X this out so now we have our working version of the textures are in here and we're gonna use them all right, we want to get this window here back up so go down here and mouse over it until you find the right one and then click on the thing to bring it back up all right it's back up so let's go ahead and fix the bra first so we're going to select the bra we're going to drop down the little arrow and we need to delete the BS lighting shader property from uh, this one because this one doesn't work so I hit control and delete now it's gone now since we're already going to be copying the bras one let's go ahead and get it set up on the female body one so we can just paste it here as well so select the bra in the female body one it says it's in I try shape 37 do the drop down list select the BS lighting shader property and hit control delete now it's gone from both the top and the bottom the body slide one and body slide two no longer have them now we want to get the good one so come in here select the bra it says it's number one which is fine just do the drop down list select that BS lighting shader property hit control C on your keyboard and it doesn't matter where you paste the BS lighting shader property because we're going to assign it to this tri shape so just select the tri shape and hit control V and we're going to paste it down here too so select the tri shape on the female body one hit control V now we have it on both windows now we need to assign it to the NI tri shape so select the NI tri shape scroll all the way down in the properties window drop the properties and it says it's number 42 so we're gonna assign the value of 42 to this and I try shape and press enter and do the same thing down here select the bra right there and scroll all the way down in the properties window drop the properties we see it's 42 as well and double click and type in the value 42 press enter now it uh, now the texture is assigned. I know you can't see it in here. It's in there, okay? Um, it's correct. We already know it is because we tested this in game and it worked. So now we need the bottom one. So first, let's remove the old bottom one. So select the bottom. You can close uh, the bra if you want, just to keep yourself from getting confused. All right, select the bottom. It says it's 30. I'm going to drop down the list. I'm going to select the bad BS lighting shader property and control delete it and we're gonna do the same exact thing over here we're gonna select the bottom we're gonna it says it's 30 we're gonna drop down the list here select BS lighting shader property and hit control delete now we're gonna come over to the good uh, texture files select the undergarment it says it's 8 so we're gonna drop down the list we're gonna select the BS lighting shader property and hit control C on our keyboard and then select uh, you know the undergarment is fine and hit control V up top 
and then go down bottom, select the uh, undergarment, and I try shape 30 and hit control V again. And these are also 42, so we're, that's their value. So now we're going to click on the undergarment. You can also just click over here on the undergarment, drop down the pro to the properties, scroll down to the properties, drop down the list in the value, type 42, press enter, and select the undergarment in the in uh, the female body one and scroll down to the properties and drop down the property list double click in the value type in 42 alright now they both have correct textures and the body is the you know original body we know it works There's no texture problems okay we're done with this window so we're gonna go ahead and close it and we're gonna save these back in the final folder so we're gonna go up to file uh, for the female body zero click save as go to UMP custom armors data meshes armor Daedric final and then select Daedric torso F0 and click save Do you want to replace it yes and we're gonna do the same thing for the female body underscore one click file save as go to UMP custom armors data meshes armor Daedric final Daedric Torso F1, select that, and then go ahead and click Save. Do you want to replace it? Yes. All right, now we're done with these, so we can go ahead and X them out. All right, we want to open up our UMP Custom Armors folder, drag it off to the right, go to Data, Meshes, Armor, Daedric, Final. Check to see that they're the same size. They are. That's a very good sign. It means that the weight slider, is. chances are it's going to work. So we're going to, you know, just drag uh, your mouse or you can control click both of them and then hit control C on your keyboard click on your Daedric folder and if you don't have this open just double click on the Daedric shortcut and hit control V copy and replace copy and replace we want them both in there and let's test it out in game so double click on Skyrim and we'll see if this works out good Alrighty, so I'm just going to load up the game. Should take me right to the one where the armor is already equipped. Alright, and here I am, right back in game where I left. Looks really good. Wow, I mean, that turned out really nice. Yes, sir. Looks very good. So now we have to see if the weight slider works. Type show, race menu, you know, you hit tilt key, type in the command, hit tilt again go to body and hopefully when I go over to wait and I push over it doesn't explode oh thank God <laughs> it's always a pain in the butt if those vertices explode when trying to create a weight slider you'd have to load up your original test uh, and start from scratch you know set it up to export and all that but yeah works great best thing to do is you know we've we already know one works because we didn't make any changes there so we're gonna slide it all the way over to a hundred we're going to name the character. I just always type AAA. And run around and make sure, you know, nothing pokes through. I already know that everything's weighted to the correct bone, so I don't have to swing my weapon. I just have to, well, you can swing your weapon just to make sure that, you know, no parts of the body poke through. Otherwise, you have to do it all over again. <laughs> Not really. Sometimes you, sometimes you can get lucky and just import something into 3DS Max and export it from 3DS Max, you know, a weight slider armor and it won't mess up but most of the time you have to start from start over and do it all over again alright yeah looks good alright but you see now I'm running around here with a pair of bracers on I'm gonna unequip those and I was thinking that our next tutorial is going to be discussing how to create bracers alright we're out of time for this video here so uh, just you know, stay tuned, have fun, play around, create your armor chests and stuff, and then uh, uh, we're gonna look into making gloves for our characters and make the gloves you know work with these weight slider, and uh, you know eventually we're gonna get enough to where we get craftable armors. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today, folks. I'll see you for the next video. Y'all have fun.